Behind the uh, musical masterpiece, a familiar face. We all know who he is, but do we know who he was? Thousands of miles from the North Pole in Demre, southern Turkey, they venerate St. Nicholas. He was bishop here in the 4th century, known for his good deeds. Pilgrims come from across the world, but his bones were stolen in 1087 and now lie in Italy. This is the man who inspired the legend of Father Christmas. For the people in the West uh, today and nowadays and maybe earlier, uh, we have the lack of love in our hearts. And so we want someone to, even once a year, to visit us and give us that love that we need to have. Santa Claus from Turkey? Who'd have thought? Well, back then it was Lycia, some ruins remain. Amazing tales were told of Nicholas helping the poor, like a father who couldn't afford his daughter's dowry. Nicholas is said to have thrown gold into the house, some down the chimney, caught in, yes, you guessed it, a stocking hung up to dry. Stories spread throughout the centuries of the kindly Bishop Nicholas, and the Europeans, notably the Dutch, took the legends with them. As they arrived in the New World, gradually as poems about him were written and cartoons drawn, his modern image was born. The name changed, St. Nicholas to Santa Claus. Hang on, did he just... Nah. Oh, St. Nicholas, you're the one who jump for joy whenever. Oh, so jolly old St. Nicholas passes by, spreading spirit with a twinkling eye. The tourists flood here, some for the saint, others for the portly chap in red. I guess I thought Santa Claus was just a commercial business, but knowing that I didn't, I learned here today that he, he was a real man that did great things and his legend continued. I'm proud because he was a saint. <laughs> he, he helped a lot of people, he helped us, and now he helped me every day. So now you know, whatever you wish for this Christmas, you'd better send it to the ho ho holy man from Turkey. Have a happy Christmas day. Mark Lowen, BBC News in Demre.